I know that a lot of y'all out there really like quick, easy, delicious casseroles. Uh, any way we can get our kids to <laughs> eat their vegetables, you know, we're all in. So I'm going to show you uh, a recipe that I can't remember if it was in my first cookbook or my second. But anyway, this is the book that you can tell it's just about shot. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> it's just about shot. Uh, I love it. It's my kitchen classics. And it's a combination of my first book, my second book, and uh, pictures and recipes from mine and Michael's wedding. So, you know, I know I can find everything if I grab this one. Now, let me see if I can figure out where this goes. I hate to see my book come totally apart. Let's see. One third. Okay, that's where it goes. So, anyway, that recipe is in, like I said, the Lady and Sons uh, or the Lady and Sons 2 or the uh, Kitchen Classics book or online. You can find it online. All right. So I'm lucky in the fact that my husband likes broccoli. That's a good thing for me. You know, sometimes he can turn his nose up at anything green, but he will eat this. And that's two, I think they come in 10 ounce packages now, of uh, frozen broccoli. It calls for uh, the um, spears, but I like, I like using the flowerettes. It's just easier to eat. This makes it real easy. And we're just going to layer our boiled eggs on top of our, our broccoli spears or broccoli flowerettes. This really is good. And one reason I like this so much is it's like got Swiss cheese in it. So if you like Swiss cheese, you're going to be happy. All right, so I've got a can of cream of chicken soup and some milk. I'm just going to kind of wash my can out and kind of slowly add the, the liquid to the solid. Okay, now I'm going to add a cup of these crispy onions that we all just love. A layer of that. That almost takes the place of uh, the buttery crackers that we sometimes use in our casseroles, so that'll kind of do that little that little trick for us okay and now i'm gonna layer my swiss cheese on top of my onion rings see how easy this is and how good so the recipe calls for a half a cup of cheese, but <laughs> you know, you do what you want to because you can. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that Swiss cheese smells like somebody took off their boots. All right, now I'm going to put this into like a 350 degree oven and bake it for 20 or 25 minutes till it's hot and bubbly. And then at the last minute, we're going to come back in and we're going to add some onion rings on top. And you don't want to let those stay in more than like five minutes, y'all, because uh, 
they will get dark quick. So like I said, the last few minutes of bacon will come in and put the rest of our onion rings. Doesn't that look good? Good, good, good. Yum. And I like sometimes to add a can of uh, sliced water chestnuts to things like this. It just it's good and it's got crunch. Okie dokie. In the oven it goes. So hot and bubbly and then another scoop of onion rings goes on top. Okay, our casserole is hot and bubbly. So we're just going to top it with our onion rings. Put it back in the oven. And I mean five minutes and that will do it, y'all. Our broccoli casserole is ready, y'all. And I'm excited about this because it's been a while since I've done this one. So I'm excited, excited about revisiting this. See, I love the, I love the uh, sliced boiled eggs in it and the onion rings. Now, should you not like Swiss cheese, you can always, whoa, get back up there. You can always put the cheese of your choice. It doesn't have to be Swiss. Mm. Mm. This is good. Oh, uh, but I, you know, I'm a, I'm a fan of those onion rings. Mm. So I hope you'll try this recipe. It's uh, a little bit different from the uh, broccoli casserole that we make in uh, Paula Dean's Family Kitchen and the Lady and Sons. But this is, this is just a nice, nice change for you. It's good. So. One more day, I'm sending y'all love and best dishes to you. I should have added a little salt to it, though, y'all. Just a little bit of salt sprinkled over those hard-boiled eggs. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.